The rate of new HIV cases in Tennessee has dropped dramatically in the last 20 years. That's thanks in part to federal funding that provides HIV prevention and care. So why has the state said they are no longer interested in getting that money? News Channel 5's Chris Davis spent the day on Capitol Hill where the new state health commissioner made his first public appearance in his new role. So Chris, what did the commissioner have to say about this pretty big decision? Well, interestingly enough, Vicki, we weren't supposed to hear from the commissioner at all on this HIV controversy. That's not exactly what happened. Here we go again, the 113th session of the General Assembly. The meeting of the Senate Health Committee was supposed to be a brief introduction of the state's new health commissioner, Dr. Ralph Alvarado. He just uh, got to Nashville, so if we could, this is more of an introductory uh, meeting today. But State Senator Jeff Yarbrough decided his concerns just couldn't wait. We would make this sort of abrupt decision to cut off programs. Last week, we learned the state of Tennessee rejected a CDC grant that provides millions of dollars to HIV prevention and treatment programs across Tennessee's 99 counties. There are legislators I know of both parties and in many regions of the states that have concerns about this and want to hear from the department about how best to how we're going to move forward. This administration is examining areas where it can decrease its reliance on federal funding uh, and assume a lot more increased independence in that realm. So um, states determine right now that the best interest of Tennesseans for the state to assume direct financial and managerial responsibility for these services. Technically, Dr. Alvarado didn't have to respond to the question, but even still, Yarborough wasn't satisfied. He's brand new on the job, and I don't know whether it's his decision or one he inherited, but like we're going to have to get better answers than uh, the department has been able to communicate thus far. These two physicians weren't happy either. I would like to hear how he's planning on replacing that funding. Dr. Alvarado is supposed to be back in this committee room in two months to answer any questions lawmakers or the community may have, but stakeholders are worried it'll be too little, too late. At this moment in time, we need to be expanding access to health care, not inhumanely limiting it. Now, it's believed the state rejected the funding because it includes some money that goes towards Planned Parenthood, even though that money was not directed towards actually providing abortions. Now, we asked Dr. Alvarado if he'd be interested in doing an interview with us today. That request was declined, but we're hopeful he'll take us up on the offer at some point down the road. Reporting live at the Capitol, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.